Wednesday marked four months since the October 7th cross-border attacks by Hamas that killed 1,200 people in Israel and saw the U.S.-designated terrorist group taking some 240 people hostage. About 135 hostages are still unaccounted for. Ceremonies were held in cities around the world, including Paris. The top U.S. diplomat, Antony Blinken, is in the Middle East to push for the release of the hostages, including six Americans, and an extended pause in the fighting to get more humanitarian aid to Palestinian civilians in Gaza. But Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu dismissed a proposal by Hamas, which reportedly called for the withdrawal of all Israeli forces from Gaza. Today, I told Secretary of State Blinken that after defeating Hamas, we will make sure that Gaza be demilitarized for good. The history already proved that there is only one force that can promise such a thing, the state of Israel through the IDF and our security forces. At a separate press conference late Wednesday, Blinken had this to say about the Hamas counteroffer. While there are some clear non-starters in Hamas's response, uh, we do think it creates space for agreement to be reached. And we will work at that relentlessly until we get there. In Tel Aviv, a group of freed Israeli hostages appealed to Netanyahu to push for a hostage deal. Again, I am turning to you, Mr. Netanyahu. Everything is in your hands. You are the one that can. And I am very scared, very afraid, that if you continue in this line of bringing down Hamas, there won't be any hostages to free anymore. In his talks with Israeli officials, Blinken said that the death toll of Palestinians in Gaza is still far too high and that any military operation against Hamas needs to put the safety of civilians first and foremost. According to the Hamas-run Ministry of Health in Gaza, at least 27,478 Palestinians have been killed in the Gaza Strip since October the 7th. About 70 percent of those killed are reported to be women and children. More than 66,800 Palestinians have reportedly been injured. Lincoln also held talks in Ramallah in the West Bank with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. Lincoln will hold more talks in Israel on Thursday and plans to meet with the families of hostages held by Hamas. Cindy Sain, VOA News the State Department.